guys, it is Ateniki here and today we are here to unbox and review for you guys another wonderful Huawei product. It is the Huawei MateBook D16. Let's go check it out. And here we have the box that it comes in. So it is your standard protective brown box that is recyclable so if you are into probably arts and crafts or if you just need a box around the house or if you just like the environment i mean this is a good touch opening it up we are greeted by instruction manuals and the warranty card and of course the laptop itself it is covered with i presume um compostable plastic let's see here Yep, compostable plastic. Um, it's also covered by some type of foam. Honestly, for me, this doesn't really feel very, very secure, but the product is intact. It got here safely. It's still in one piece, so I am not really going to complain about that. So let's pull the laptop out. We have a Type C to Type C charging cable also covered in the same compostable plastic that the laptop comes in and a mini power brick that is capable of 65 watts of charging so let's put the box off to the side over here and then try and take the plastic off of everything All right. here's the charging cable it's it's a standard length um, I would prefer charging cables that are longer. Here we have the body or the chassis of the Huawei laptop. It is a metal body that is actually 1.74 kilograms in weight. It also has dimensions of 356.7 by 248.7 by 18.4 millimeters. So it's compact honestly it's pretty tiny oh it's upside down <laughs> we have here the mystic silver color but they also have a space gray colorway if you would much rather a darker colorway for your laptops on the sides of the laptop we have two USB-C ports one for charging and another that is all purpose there is also an hdmi port and a 3.5 millimeter combined headphone and microphone jack so on the other side there is two usb a ports one that is a usb 2.0 and the other a usb 3.2 gen 1 port so there are also two speaker grills at the bottom of the laptop and then of course a giant grill for you know cooling so here we have the screen of the laptop every day when you open this up you are going to be greeted by a gigantic screen that is 16 inches in width it has a 1920 by 1200 pixel ratio so if you are watching movies or videos on the laptop that there is a chance that you're going to have black bars on the top and the bottom of the screen because you know usually the standard for when it comes to video making is 1920 by 1080 so it's not going to be that noticeable honestly because i have used the laptop to watch certain youtube videos or movies i mean when it comes to movies there there's always going to be a black bar on top and bottom of the screen they have also added eye protection on the bezel-less screen if you are someone who works at a computer for long hours every day this is definitely something that could benefit you so there is a camera on top of the screen of the matebook d16 so it is a 1080p intelligent wide angle camera that has background changing capabilities and it can sense human motion so if you are someone who has the laptop on standby maybe you went to the bathroom or you went to get some lunch uh, during the day of you working on the laptop and it goes on standby mode so if you move in front of the laptop it will wake up if you have face id on it will instantly unlock for you so here we have the keyboard of the huawei matebook d16 it is a gigantic keyboard for a tiny laptop i, I will say that much last time i had a laptop that had an umpad it was 
honestly gigantic and probably weighed five kilograms <laughs> but this one is less than two kilograms and it's very tiny so i'm very impressed that they were able to jam a numpad into there so it is a 99 key layout with four of those being their physical shortcut keys so we have four keys up here on top of the numpad the first one is a key that can instantly open up the calculator app the second one is an ai search button that is able to search for files that are on your computer and your smartphone so if you have your smartphone connected to the laptop just click that button and then you can search for files that you may need during the day and it'll show you on which device the file is and then we also have the third button which instantly minimizes um, the apps that you have open or the windows that you have open currently on your screen we also have the instant camera on and off key so it's basically um, a button in which you can click and press for you to be able to turn your camera on and off for example you're probably on a zoom call and then you just want to turn your camera instantly off but you can't be bothered to manually do it on the app itself you just click that button and then your camera is off or if you need to turn it on just click that button camera's on again it runs on a 12 gen intel core i7 with 512 gigs worth of internal storage and 16 gigs of ram so its battery is rated at 60 watt hours which i have actually self-tested um, and it actually does last for a while so i've been using it like just for daily tasks maybe like doing work and watching youtube videos at night it honestly lasts a long time if you're not a heavy user of the computer that is <laughs> So the computer does already run on Windows 11 OS straight out of the box so you already have the latest in-apps and operating system capabilities and just you know make sure to keep those drivers updated. So Huawei also boasts on the MateBook D16 and its Metaline antenna for better signal so if you are someone who has an office or situates the laptop somewhere that you may not have the strongest connection to the Wi-Fi this will definitely be a huge boost for you and of course it also does have Bluetooth 5.1 capabilities the power button itself is also a fingerprint scanner so if you're someone who uh, wants a lot of options when it comes to unlocking the laptop there is one the face ID two the fingerprint scanner and then three the typical pin and or password that you have to type in manually so i have actually tested out the face id so let's just see here if it will look at me your fingerprint cannot be recognized oh it's using my fingerprint so okay let's use my fingerprint here instantly very much instantly so there is also a button to turn off the microphone instantly if you want to mute yourself during meetings and or video calls or video conferences that you are currently involved in and then we also have of course turning on wi-fi turning it off so let's move on to the four physical shortcut keys that they have included right here up top of the numpad so click on the first button we instantly have the calculator um, right here on our screen and then let's test out the third key which is the instant minimize button works and then of course we have the camera off key so I have filled this uh, already off to the side so it, it works so here are my overall thoughts the laptop is great if you're someone who is in need of a great sturdy laptop that'll last for a while the MateBook D16 is absolutely something that I can recommend. The lightweight and compact build of the laptop made it really easy for me to be able to bring it places even though I do work at home. Um, it was very easy for me to just pick up the laptop and then go from room to room. I had a laptop that was literally almost three times the weight of this and this one by far obviously it's the same keyboard layout so I thought that it would be a great way for me to do some work and it was so it was lightweight it was compact and it was very easy to be able to travel around with it so the battery also lasts for a while so i would watch hours of youtube videos in one sitting 
and it held up pretty well. I actually tested out the charging capabilities as well of the laptop. I charged it at around 20% or probably less or more, um, I kind of forget. But it said that it would be fully charged within an hour and 20 minutes. That is insane. So I actually checked back again in like 30 minutes, uh, not really the full hour and 20 yet, and it was already at 50%. So it it's kind of fast. It's actually <laughs> charging faster than my phone right now. Camera wasn't really the best, but hey, it's a webcam. Um, only needed for either video calls or Zoom meetings if you are someone who is going to plan on streaming. Uh, with the camera on this, I would highly suggest getting a separate camera. But then again, if you are someone who just needs it for like Zoom meetings, um, for when you just need to do meetings in general, it's something that definitely will work. But it, I don't know, I guess it's the lighting that I usually have when I'm using the camera on the laptop. Uh, it was a bit grainy, so it's most likely the lighting, but yeah. That's, that was my experience. So these speakers were fine as well. It's not the best surround sound for when I'm watching movies, but they do the job very well enough. The calculator key, all, that's fine. The minimize button key, again, something that m will most definitely be useful to someone as well. And then the camera off key is something that honestly should be on all laptops nowadays so that's pretty much something that's very good as well as the mute mic key so those are great additions the only problem that i had actually was the ai search key so i was actually trying to figure out how to be able to use the ai search so that i would be able to show you guys but unfortunately it didn't really let me open the huawei control manager so if you remember from a previous review with the Huawei MateBook D15, uh, I was able to show you guys the Huawei uh, control panel or control manager. So I was looking for that. I literally scoured the entire laptop just for me to be able to get a proper review of the entirety of it, but it was nowhere to be found, unfortunately. So the AI search, I was not able to even test it out and it actually bonds me because I wanted to try it out. So other than that, I think that this laptop is great. If you want something that's very lightweight, compact, something that you can bring anywhere, and it's very very light, but something that you can bring everywhere and not break your back. But it is a very powerful laptop in such a small package. So if you guys do want to avail your very own Huawei MateBook D16, you can contact your local Huawei representative or you can visit your local Huawei resale store today.